let's keep the show moving right along. Very fun show. Please go for some Marco Alde. Hello, San Juan Capistrano. I love saying it like that. It sounds so freaking sexy. <laughs> My name is Marco Alde. I'm from uh, Los Angeles, Mexico. Thank you. <laughs> I love the OC. I have a lot of family here, and I hope they stay here. No room for LA for me. So, single for uh, the last year. Uh, after 11 years married, I still have that fresh, out of prison camp feeling. <laughs> it's a whole new life, you know, it's a whole new life. I'm excited for it. Um, I look back at marriage and, and I remember nothing. <laughs> it's a blur. You know, I've been on this vegan, vegan kick. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I've been on this vegan kick. It's something about them. They taste so good. <laughs> you know, vegan women. I think they like meat eaters. I think it's bullshit. I think we turn you on. Any vegans here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course, I'm in uh, Orange County. It's a primordial instinct. So, I'm speaking to a hippie friend of mine. Hippie friend of mine about my experience with women and what's been going on. So, So Dave says, you know, Marco, he says, just, you got to put your intention out there and, and see what happens. So I had this psycho, this psycho woman experience. I mean, she's in my car. I mean, I'm driving in a vintage vehicle. She completely freaks up the interior because she didn't get her way. Um... I think it was more like, um, I think it was more daddy issues. So I decided to take her home after some crazy makeup sex. Uh, so Dave says, brother, just imagine and create this woman, put her out there into the universe, and see what happens. Okay. So, so I do this. I'm thinking, okay, ideal woman, this is important. Nice hair, great, fuck all that. You know what, big tits, big ass, a freaking whore, and then she doesn't talk. <laughs> you know, at this point, at this point, At this point in my life, I have no kids, no drama. Um, I'm pretty much a catch. <laughs> and I can talk to you dirty in Espanol, mamacita. <laughs> so I meet this woman. I meet this woman. She's about my age, obviously. Too, too old for me. <laughs> and um, we, we went out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to give her a shot. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. At this point, I'm pretty much paying it forward, and eventually it'll come back to me. Um, yeah. 
We go out, we do a little salsa dancing. Anybody do a little salsa? Hey. <laughs> do a little salsa dancing. It gets hot on the dance when you go out to so salsa dancing, it gets pretty freaking hot on the dance floor. <laughs> so we decided to take off. Um, we take off and we're heading out. I'm thinking we go to my place. No, no. After that psycho shit that happened in my, my vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and go to her place. I go to, we go to her place. Um, we get there. It's dark, shuffling through. Um, we finally get to the bedroom. It gets, it's, it's just the entire way into that house was just like, I don't know how I made it in there, touching, feeling, and it's getting pretty freaking hot. Uh, so next thing you know, it's getting, it's wild and crazy, just like the crazy girl in the, in the vintage uh, vehicle. Um, we do our thing. She's a little wild, and I, and I love this shit. I love my life right now. But I knew, I had the gut feeling, something was going wrong here. And I knew this ex exactly after ejaculation. So I did the right thing. I did the right thing and I said, I gotta go. Um, so I left the homeless shelter. <laughs> My name is Marco Aldi. Thank you very much. <laughs>